<laughs> Get excited, Australia. It's the money man himself. Please welcome to the project the world's best finance minister, Wayne Swan. <laughs> Congratulations. Be honest, when you were a little boy, did you dream of actually becoming the world's best finance minister? No, no, I didn't. I, I grew up on the Sunshine Coast and I used to dream of playing rugby league for Queensland or surfing at Bells Beach, actually. Uh, now, one thing that has been said, and it has to be suggested, if there is a trophy for this award, perhaps it should spend a week at your place and a week at Peter Costello's place, because he was a great treasurer as well. Yeah, well, I think the problem there might be that he wouldn't ever give it back. <laughs> <laughs> Have you thought about that? But anyway, look, I'm, I'm happy to lend it to him for a little while. How about that? <laughs> well, Wayne, going through, looking at the report here and seeing what you got top marks for, it says that you have excellent fiscal discipline. Does that just mean you're tight? <laughs> well, it certainly means that I, I always uh, meet my shout when I'm at the pub. I do that. But I tell you what, I tell you what. When the stimulus was out there, I had a lot of interesting experiences out there talking to people in the street about what they were doing with their money. Yeah, mate. A lot of people will be watching TV on stimulus money right now. Basically, the plasma <laughs> screens that they bought with it. Now, mate. Uh, you know what? Everyone's excited about it. Even the opposition. Barnaby Joyce. He's over the moon. Check him out today. The award is true to form. Uh, Paul Keating got it before we got the recession we had to have. And now I think they should term it the Edward John Smith Award. Uh, he was a former captain of the Titanic. But just the overwhelming positivity, <laughs> Swanee. Well, I think we've just learned why Barnaby Joyce was sacked by Tony Abbott <laughs> as finance <laughs> spokesman. <laughs> Keating did go on to become PM, though. Maybe it's time he made a run for the uh, top job. Oh, no, I'm backing Julia all the way. I, I enjoy doing the Treasury job. I don't want to do anything else. On a more serious note, Treasurer, the IMF, they've just downgraded the forecast for our economy. Does that mean we are in for some hard times ahead? It certainly means that there's uncertainty in the global economy and the global economy is slowing and that will have some impact on Australia. But the fundamentals here are pretty good. We're not immune from all of that. But if you wanted to be anywhere in the global economy in these conditions, be here in Australia. So does that rule out any chance of getting another 900 bucks? <laughs> yep, it certainly does. <laughs> now, mate, this is your day. We're not going to take anything away from you. We're going to pump you up. I want to take you back to the photos we've seen earlier of you as a young man. Have a look at <laughs> you, a hot man with long hair. Do you ever think about you, growing... Do you like the mullet, do you? I like... Well, it's not really a mullet. It's actually really fashionable. Have you thought about growing it again? Yeah, I have, a, I have from time to time, but I'm not sure I've got enough. <laughs> That's the problem. You could go the Mo, though, for sure. No, I'm, I have gone the Mo before, and I certainly thought about it last year in terms of Movember. So Movember's coming up. I'm not sure I'm going to do it, but I'd urge everybody else to do it because it's a fantastic charity. Uh, now, looking at that photo of you from your time at university, you remind me of, of a guy who would know a guy, if you know what I mean. <laughs> was, that, was that true of you at University of Queensland? <laughs> Well, can I, can I just tell you, if you know what I mean, it wasn't only guys. I used to know a few women as well. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for your time tonight. Thank you, Richard. Dark horse. He's in a great mood, though. No, you can't take his great mood away today. He's done a number, a number of interviews. He did one earlier today where he, the, the interviewer congratulated him on the award first. Then she got very negative, but check out his response. But here at home, the polls suggest that you're on track to lose your seat at the next election if there's a uniform swing. Well, look, thanks very much. I won an award! 